Touch Type Tail has got to be one of the most unique titles I've seen in a very, very long time. This is from Pumpernickel Games and published by Epic Games. It's finally making its way to the Epic Games Store after a long development. It's finally opening up into early beta, and I got a chance to take a little look at this before it releases to beta. I was invited to partake and watch a digital presentation where Pumpernickel went through a lot of the different aspects to this game and just how it works because it is a unique premise. This is an RTS controlled entirely by the keyboard. That sounds confusing and that's because it is, but it does make sense as you go along with it and you start to get kind of used to the different systems. There's a lot going on in this. All of the different actions every building you can select through typing a word, all the characters, the different units, how to move them around in different directions, it's all presented in different text, different words on the screen, and you can type them to complete that action. There are a huge amount of words in the English language. This is in the English language, in case I was playing it that way. And it's just, it's really hard to kind of grasp what's going on unless you see it for yourself. I'm going to try and show off a little bit of the control here, but essentially, each time you type a word, it refreshes what's on page. So you can type a word for a building. The next time you want to go back to that building, it will be a different word. That might seem like it causes some issue, but it's actually pretty easy to get used to. Life as an orphan in a small village like Glenford wasn't. An RTS that controls with keyboard might seem like it would be kind of slow. You may expect that, but this is actually far from the truth. This game actually picks up quite early and gets very difficult if you are that person. There's a bunch of different difficulty levels, so you don't have to go in and just get slammed. You're not expected to be a typewriter but you will be by the end of this game because all the different scenarios it throws at you. It's not only just a skirmish, most RTS kind of generic default game type is a skirmish, and you will find that here. But beyond that, you have a lot of escorting kind of missions. In RTS, that's not the worst thing, but you also have a lot of take and hold, defend your village, you're tasked as kind of a magical person there. You're Paul, a hero that the world needed at a desperate time. You jump to your magical typewriter to control the world and defend your area, your hometown, push forward, defend your people. That's your motivation here, and it pushes you through a lot, a lot of scenarios. A quite impressive length story, actually. And it's all voiceovered. Right now, I'm dealing with the pre-beta version, so it doesn't have steady voice acting. Um, it's a little bit lacking on the production side, I'll say. I, I hear a little bit of the microphone popping and that kind of thing, but it is stated at the top of the screen, every cutscene, these are placeholder voice lines. They will be changed when the game hits full release. There is just a little bit of a gentle kind of musical tone going throughout the whole game. It's enough that I didn't feel like I was sitting in awkward silence, but it also didn't provide anything very memorable. Not nearly as memorable as the art style. The art style to this game is probably what's going to catch your eye, and it doesn't ever let up. I've maxed all of the different components to the graphics. I'm dealing with a 1660 card, so we're not looking at the best, but this is not hyper-realistic. This is kind of a cartoony, kind of animated style to it. It's not hyper-HD textures, but it does the job. It looks really nice in my opinion, and I think it will age very well, given years. Is hoarding their riches from our raids close to our border. This game is releasing into open beta, so it's not exactly fair for me to put a score on it now. If you're a fan of the show, you'll know we do a recommend or do not recommend in cases like these, and I have to say I'm very taken aback by this game. A little curiosity, 
put my foot in the door and now I'm hooked. I'm going to be talking about this game for years to come and I absolutely recommend it. If you're a fan of RTS in general or if you want to test your typing skills, I think there's a lot of good game here for you. Caught his eye. Fascinated by its clicking sounds and curious to learn more, Paul started